Hush, Judith. Still, so we can hear. I can hear. I've been hearing for hours and hours. And thanks be to God for the privilege. Be still. This one speaks of life. True, and I want no creeping insect to share this life with me. It is but the grass that rubs up against your ankle. With a brown body, several legs, and what looks like wings. Hush, Judith. Hush, Judith. Hush, Judith. I'm hungry, ACL. You are too. You won't admit it, but I can hear your stomach growling. Mm. And if you told me we were going to be here all day, I would have packed us a lunch. I only knew that people were coming here to hear Jesus. Well, he's traveling all of Galilee. And God has provided a way for us to hear him today. Well, I'd be much happier if he'd provide some barley soup. Or even some bread and cheese. Judith, don't put your mind on such things. It will only make you hungrier. Well, when my mind feasts on thoughts of food, then my feet don't cry so loud at this long standing. Oh, there's Athalia! Athalia! Shh. Athalia, over here! Judith Aceel, it's so good to oh, see you. Hi. Isn't this wonderful? Oh, we're enjoying it. It's long, but we're enjoying it. Where's Benjamin? Over there. He sent me to find our son, Becker. Have you seen him? No. Oh, uh, he told us all to sit down. Oh, thank heavens. Come sit with us. Well, Becker will show up sometime. Don't oh. worry. Oh. Hi, Athalia. Benjamin here? Yes, yes. Uh, we've been following these meetings even before he came to Galenitis. Huh. Did you know that he left Galilee because of Herod? Oh, I heard about that, that awful business with his friend John the Baptist. Benjamin says that Herod thinks that Jesus is John risen from the dead. Well, that sounds like something Herod would say. Mm -hmm. Well, what does he say when John and Jesus are together? Well, I don't know. Maybe he doesn't know about that. Benjamin heard one of Jesus' disciples speaking in Nazareth about what John the Baptist spoke about before he, you know, baptized. Oh, well, did he tell about Salome? That's what I want to hear about. I heard when she twirled her veils around Herod, he would have done anything she asked. Dirty old man, thinking he can get by with adultery just because he's Herod. What is this world coming to? A body's not safe. Thieves roaming the streets free as grass. Children snatched from the wall. Oh, don't worry about Becker here. These are nice people. A little foolish for staying so long at a meeting like this, but they're good people. What's happening up there? Jesus and his disciples met together about something. His disciples mm. seem worried, but Jesus doesn't. He never is. He's compassionate, always compassionate, and he seems to care very much about what the people care about. And he doesn't worry, if you know what I mean. No, dear, I don't. When I care about something, I worry. But he's a man, and men don't worry well. ACL didn't know how to worry until I helped him do it. <laughs> he makes me feel that it is much for me as he is for Benjamin, and that being a woman is a good thing to be. Well, I've always thought a woman was a good thing to be. It's getting the men to see that is what's difficult. <laughs> what's going on now? He's praying, I think. Mm -hmm. He's lifting something up and blessing it. It's really small. It's it's in a little pouch. There's a little boy with Jesus. <laughs> Becca! Oh, what is he doing up there? That's, that's his lunch in Jesus' hands. I wrapped it in cloth so he could tie it to his belt. Oh, what has he done? Oh, no, 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 Benjamin. Benjamin has seen him too. Becker was with me. I only took my eyes off him for one second. You want and me to go get Becker for you? No, no, no. 
I don't want anybody to know he's mine. <laughs> Going and doing a thing like that. What's happening? Jesus is dividing the lunch with the disciples. Dividing what? I know what I put in his lunch. It's just fish and leftover rolls. Oh, oh, leftover rolls? Why didn't I bake fresh rolls for breakfast? Well, why should you, dear? You didn't know that your son was going to have a picnic with Jesus. <laughs> doing a thing like that. I don't think they're going to eat the lunch themselves. Oh, good. They're going to offer it to the people. <laughs> well, what good would that do? Does, do they think that feeding one in 5,000 will make the rest of us contented? I think we need to go back to Bethsaida. You and Benjamin come with us, and Becker can stand in the corner. Hush, Judith, be still. The people are being fed. With what? I know what I put in his lunch. And I know what he's already eaten. He's eaten the grapes, good grapes, a big bunch of grapes. If he hadn't eaten the grapes, an entire row could have had one grape a person. Oh, going and doing a thing like that. Wait till I get him home. I'm so embarrassed. No. Okay. No. The people are being fed. Hey, it's a miracle, Judith. We're here watching a miracle! Well, this has turned out to be quite a day. <laughs> I'm going to find Benjamin. Which disciple is that coming this direction? Oh, that's Philip. I've known him since he was a little boy. You know, he's from Bethsaida, you know. Each row, each row is being fed. The disciples didn't know what to think. Look at their faces. I've got to go find Benjamin. He may not know what's happening. Okay, bye. I'll tell Philip to tell Becca where you are. Sit down, Judith. He told us all to sit back down. I'm sitting. Philip, how's your mother? Oh, Judith, this is not the time for that. Well, I want him to know we're here. Besides, we might get an extra helping. You never know. Judith, it's a miracle, a mighty sign from God, and here you are asking for a special serving. Well, Philip's mother has been worried about him. She's been afraid he hasn't been getting enough to eat. <laughs> <laughs> 